So if there's any experience you definitely have to do in the West, that is a firearm shooting experience. What's gonna be so cool about this is they have modern guns, but they also have guns that are from uh, old times, like hunting shotguns, they got old flint stick and gunpowder guns. So what sets this gun range and experience apart from all other ones is that it's literally a walk through history. You get the old muskets, you get the old Winchesters, you get the Colt revolvers. Uh, basically, yeah, these are some of the guns you can actually shoot. So this whole thing was first trying to be curated by the museum here, uh, but then they said they didn't like the idea and then it became a privatized kind of thing. Yeah, that experience was absolutely mind-blowing. Wow, just going through history through all the guns from the flint to the gunpowder to then going to the full automatic. Yeah, that was super, super cool. Definitely, if anybody's around the area, this is a unique experience. It's one of the few places that has those fully automatic rifles in all the United States. So, super, super cool here. Cannot wait to show up again, that was so awesome. So currently in Cody, Wyoming, and I had reached out to the Cody Tourism Board, and they were so nice to invite me out to the dinner show the Cody Cattle Company. Apparently it's like a dinner and a show and the whole deal and it just sounded so good and they said come on by check it out so I was like okay why not free tickets free food can't complain because Cody Wyoming is all about like the Wild West it's about Buffalo Bill it's about this whole dynamic of people leaving the eastern side of the United States and crossing over all the way to California and it's this whole thing of the Wild West so this is the whole kind of charm of Cody Wyoming which I will experience today. So. Cody Rodeo is apparently the rodeo capital of the world here in Wyoming, so it'd be really exciting, really cool. I've never experienced a rodeo before, so it's gonna be really interesting. Next activity is a wonderful music presentation. Again, that is the old timey kind of cowboy stuff. It's gonna be kind of cool. It's called the Dan Miller Band, and uh, yeah, let's see how it is. Say, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. So, this museum really has so much stuff, it even has the uh, Native American or First Nations or Indians or Amer Indians, however you want to call um, that group of people. Um, it has a bunch of their stuff, which is super cool. I've never seen such detail in the garments and the headscarves and the feathers and the whole deal. It's actually very, very impressive, the museum. I see some of the stuff in person and it's all authentic, it's all real, which uh, it's hard to find these days. I usually do not like museums, but this one definitely is a must. I made it to the very top of Beartooth Pass. It is beautiful, it is gorgeous, it is a fantastic view. We 
for the past.